property. You're about to see why it was so difficult to identify the owner or owners in this case. In this alley off Missouri Avenue in Clearwater, multiple low slung lines ran in various directions tethered to different poles. Oh, Chuck, hi. It was Beth Shramick. Waste management recently notified the owner of Shramick's upholstery that the wires had hit a dangerous low point. We tried to pick up your garbage and the wires got caught on our trucks. Beth Shramick felt confident she could correct the issue with a few phone calls to area utilities. Somebody called me back and said that it wasn't their issue. A phrase she would hear more than once. Beth claims she contacted Verizon, Bright House, and Progress Energy. Verizon visited and took care of at least one of the low-hanging lines. Bright House and Progress Energy were a little different. Beth and her business neighbors did not know which lines belonged to what company, and no one, she says, was in a hurry to sort it out. Uh, there were lines hanging down across the wood fence. And there were two more lines just hanging down there, kind of just blowing in the breeze. After speaking with Beth and looking at pictures of the dangling wires, I contacted Bright House. Bright House um, called to apologize. I guess they didn't maybe understand the situation fully. The cable giant explained in an email, thank you for passing along the customer's concerns over low-hanging wires in the alleyway, preventing waste management from providing service to the business. Within two hours, a Bright House Network's technician was on scene and cleared our low wire. Bright House moved up their lines. They took care of straggler lines. Now the path is clear for the garbage truck and other delivery vehicles that regularly use this alley to service businesses on Missouri. It's all cleaned up. It's wonderful. Now, Verizon tells me the rule of thumb if you're looking to identify lines is to remember the power lines that's highest on the pole, followed by the cable, and then the phone lines that's lowest, so it's power, cable, and then phone, and that's a good way to remember it. Now, if you're having a consumer problem and you want us to get involved, all you have to do is pick up the phone. Our phone number here is 866-428-NEWS, or better yet, shoot me an email, Jackie at ABCActionNews.com. Jameson.